I'm here with my family to stay for some time for like one year. It was like full kidney, like for what? Like, hold up in Nigeria, 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 Nigeria area. Okay, let's take a moment to talk about this Lagos traffic. Oh my goodness, the traffic in Lagos can make you go crazy. Sorry about the noise. I'm parked close to the main road, so the noises are coming from there. Anyway, the traffic in Lagos. I'm not complaining. I know what I got myself into. I already know the situation on ground, but sometimes you can't help but think about these things like how do people actually cope with all this madness happening. Before I left for England, the situation was like this too. So, but you expect that at some point, people will come to their senses and do the right thing, but no. They have like potholes. They leave it without maintaining the road and before you know it, those little holes turn into like massive wells and I don't call them potholes anymore. They are like wells on the roads. So before I came to Nigeria, I already know, so I'm not, it's not a new thing to me. Like you saw in this video already, this was us going to church. Our side of the road was quite cleared, but the other side, you can see the traffic, how long the traffic was. I'm not sure they'd realize how long that traffic jam was. Anyway, but one good thing about this whole experience for me is that feeling of, I'm here, I'm home. If you're thinking of coming back home, thinking of if you're thinking of coming back to Lagos, if you're thinking of traveling to Lagos, this is just what makes Lagos Lagos. Lagos won't be Lagos without the traffic. Lagos won't be Lagos without the traffic. So don't let this disturb you. Don't let this put you off coming down to Lagos. You can come. The enjoyment. I think the enjoyment supersedes the. <laughs> I think the enjoyment here supersedes whatever challenges you will face. I don't know if most people agree with me, but that is my circumstance, that is my situation, that is my experience, and this is my opinion, this is what I think about the whole thing. So, don't let this put you off. If you want to visit Lagos, you can visit Lagos. There are places to watch out for when it comes to traffic jam. There are some places that are like notorious for, like they are known to have the worst traffic jam ever. You just avoid taking the route. If you find yourself living in the area, you just have to deal with it and you know get on with it really that's what people are doing here i just like i like the tenacity them i like the courage in them i like the hope that they have they just get on with life they just get on with things as if it's normal to me i say then i ask myself how do they cope but i'm here in the system already i'm experiencing it somehow you just you just find this coping mechanism in you and you just you know somehow you just do it so anyway I'm just a few weeks in Lagos already and I'm enjoying it but sometimes I can't um, you know I can't just imagine the whole situation uh, because I basically left it this way when I went to England and I came back and it's almost the same thing I wouldn't say it's 100% the same it has improved but not so much but I know what to expect like I said before in my previous video I came with an open mind I'm not expecting so much because Nigeria if you are Nigerian you understand what I'm talking about but somehow I know when people say these things and they're so passionate and heartbroken especially for us in the diaspora you see things work and you see the system working and you ask yourself why can't we do the same back home they're trying some states are trying some some part of the country is really doing well Lagos is one of them but not every area in Lagos just like you have in any other place but yeah, enough of the Lagos talk, but if you want to visit, visit, you would enjoy it. Just make sure you hang out with the right people that will take you places and explain the terrain and, you know, where to hang out and what, where to go and where not to go. Just make sure you have such people around you to make your experience um, worthwhile. 
yeah enjoy the rest of the video okay what do we have here i've got an unboxing to do my children they've got eczema so hopefully this shea butter is going to do wonders to their skin i just hope so because i've literally tried everything back in england they give them this prescribed ointment um citra it worked for some time and it stopped and they moved to steroid cream hydrocortisone and that's what they've been using even when we came to nigeria that is what they've been using but again that stopped so it's like i'm stopped so i'm going to um see what i can do with this shea butter all i need to do is to apply it i'm not mixing it with anything just apply it morning evening after as at when they need it their skin goes so dry like easily so i just have to be prompting them to apply it and hopefully let's say i give it one month one month is enough for me to see some form of improvement hopefully it actually works and that will make me really happy and my children really happy it's becoming almost embarrassing now to to see their skin like that but i just have to do what i can to help the situation anyway i hope you're enjoying the vlog so far i am enjoying my stay actually we are enjoying our stay here in lagos nigeria i actually called one of my friends yesterday and i was telling him that yo i'm in nigeria i'm in lagos and he was so happy because he was thinking i'm in lagos for like the holiday in a month's time i'll be gone like i normally do so when i went forward to tell him about the whole sabbatical leave i'm here with my family to stay for some time for like one year it was like full kidney like for what like how is that <laughs> actually <laughs> he wasn't expecting that just like the others i told that i was coming to nigeria to stay for one year and if i like it i will just stay if i don't i will go back to england we're like what are you doing to yourself why are you coming back to nigeria what are you coming to do what of the insecurity what of the this one what of the that one my dear tell me when is the best time to do this like when is the best time crimes happen everywhere in all parts of the world nigeria is not an exception crimes happens every day in the world uk america africa nigeria name it but the thing is nigeria because we live in nigeria you get to hear these things we still hear the knife stabbing the abductions the robbery the vandalism all sorts happens everywhere but the thing is, England or UK in general, they have a way of keeping these things to themselves. Like they only show the world what they want the world to see and which is all the good parts of their society, how developed they are, the latest technology they're inventing and stuff like that. So that's the thing. Like for the people that live in Nigeria, they don't get to hear or see those things. For me, I've lived in England for 15 years, so I've seen it happen not necessarily see it happen but i hear news i watch news i see these things happen in so many places in england they don't tend to show the bad side of their society to the world but anyway i'm here to stay for one year if i like it i stay for as long as i want to if i don't i'll carry my bag and go back to england well i hope it doesn't come to that i want to be able to stay in nigeria and visit other countries that will be the ideal situation for me that would be my dream like i hope it comes to pass so far so good i'm enjoying my stay my children have started school the first two days they weren't really sure about the whole thing because obviously the system is different the way of teaching is different and they're in a new place but by the end of the week i think they were fine they were a lot happier and excited to go back the next week and so far they are loving it and i'm happy i wasn't really sure the first week but i just told myself they'll be fine they are with other children too they are with their kind so they should be fine they will be fine and so far that is basically what has been happening and yeah i hope you've enjoyed today's video i'll come again with another interesting one about my nigerian diary and i'll see you again in my next one Bye bye <music>